25 years ago, Sally Bryant could find more than 10 resident pairs of 40 spotted pardalotes in this reserve in southern Tasmania. Today, the endangered species can't be found here. It can disappear so quickly. It's not one that stops industry. It goes unnoticed, but it's loved by community members that have colonies on their land. So are they white gums up there? Yep, all up there. The pardalote relies on white gum to feed, and its numbers are down to 1,000 and restricted to two areas in the southeast. Along with the swift parrot, it was named in the state government's long-awaited State of the Environment report as having a very real risk of extinction. The wake-up call is well and truly on our doorstep. We need an endowment fund. We need some money to be set aside from politics to grow as an endowment fund to start paying for remedial action. I'm on my way to Bruni Island, which is a haven for the 40 spotted pardalote. About half the remaining population call the island home. At the Bruni Island men's shed, volunteers are taking conservation of the 40 spotted pardalote into their own hands. They've made about 500 specially designed nest boxes since 2015. The more habitat that we can provide for them, the better. So. Um, we're changing and adapting our um, designs as the birds are changing and adapting to climate change and to um, habitat loss. In this backyard in suburban Hobart, these interstate volunteers are busy installing nest boxes for swift parrots. The swift parrot only breeds in Tasmania and is known to return to the same nest sites. I mean, it's amazing that we're standing in a regular suburban street and there's uh, John, who lives here, saw about 100 swift parrots roosting in his garden the other night. High hopes to bring precious species back from the brink. Georgie Burgess, ABC News.